Good morning. It's uh, snowy out today. I am going to work on the table this morning and then later this afternoon the greenhouse and then a little later after that I am going to find a hot tub. Still there. So last week I did most of the sanding on that side there. I still gotta do the epoxy and this side here. Uh, this is rough sanded, of course, already. You saw me with, with the belt sander. So I'm gonna get the palm sander out. And this time we found at the end of the day last time, I'm gonna get the air sander out, air palm sander. We got it working. So that should speed things up. <laughs> That's it for that stage of sanding. Uh, next, I have to do some cutting on there to cut the ends off. I'm gonna have to get the epoxy back out. Um, but the weather's warm now, so I'm gonna go head over to the greenhouse, uh, but grab lunch in between. So it's the same day, just a little bit later. I know I'm wearing different clothes. That's just because I wanted to dress a little bit warmer. Uh, we got the shed here. Uh, uh, if, you, if you care, um, if you're bored, uh, this shed is 12 by 20 on the outside uh, dimensions and I am trying to figure out how I want to uh, design my gardens in there. Alright, so if you look behind me, you can, right, oh, right there, you can see that there's a gap in the, in the plywood. That's because this whole shed wall here is pitched out at the bottom it's all been I think it might have slipped off the post so I'm not really sure so I'm gonna take the backhoe and I'm gonna lift this whole side of the shed up and or at least this corner see if I can find a post under there push this wall back into where it's supposed to be and hopefully don't break anything some remains of what used to be a post. We'll see what's next. So buried in this uh, shed there's some cement uh, stones I guess patio stone type things about two and a quarter inches thick. So I'm gonna dig down this corner enough that I can put one of those uh, stones in it in the right spot and that's gonna be our new foundation I guess. The shed's now relatively level and plumb, somewhat. So I've taken this height off on both sides and I've taken the top off on both sides. And I'm gonna use them for bracing before I go any further because this is pretty shaky up here right now.
all braced up and I'm heading back up on the roof to take the rest of these, uh, can't think of the word, those pieces off. Alright, so I just discovered that these trusses aren't really nailed together in the center anymore. Well, uh, sorry, rafters aren't nailed together in the center anymore. Let's see if I... this, they're bouncing apart pretty good. So we're gonna have to fix that. All right, so all the top boards are off. Next is, uh, my dad's already started on taking off the plywood, but on this side, uh, it's not coming off too easy uh, because uh, it's against uh, the rafters up here and it's under the ground down there. So what we're going to have to do is pop it out a little bit and then cut it off with the reciprocating saw, get rid of all those overhangs, and then we'll be able to pull the plywood off on that side. So it's a back and forth type of thing. Alright, so that's it for today. We got a lot of walls bare. That one's still got the plywood on it, but you can see the makings of what is going to be a greenhouse in the future. My, my dad and I actually just pulled a cedar canoe out of, uh, out of the barn that he started when he was 16 and we put it, brought it to his shop, so that might be a future project. <laughs>